Just talk a little bit about the match today. Obviously, it was really tight uh, all the way through. Uh, your, give me your thoughts. I mean, you know, she's tough. She's a tough player, and like you know, I just have to stay out with her. And I mean, the weather too was like super hot. But I mean, I thought I came out. I played, tried my best, even though I started, you know, behind again in the first set again, even in the third set too. But I mean, but I played pretty well. I felt like I had five every point, so I'm just happy that I came this far. So. It was a it was a really magical run. I mean, there's a few yeah. tight spots in there. You you started out a little bit slow again today. I know. As always. As always. I, like, I mean, I you know, before coming to this match, I was like, I need to start strong this time again. Once again, it didn't happen again. But you know, I was willing to stay in it some more. So. Did uh, what did you think about? Did you were you able to hear some of the fans? I mean, oh did my they support? Gosh, totally. Like they were awesome. Like they pushed me through. Like some tough second set especially. So thanks to them for coming out. And then uh, last one for you, um, just talk a little bit about your career overall. I mean, you had such a magical run all four years, really. You know, like, I feel like I've improved so much this since I've been here at Georgia State. And being a senior in my last tournament, I, you know, I wanted to give it my all no matter what. I just wanted to come out here. If it meant stay at five hours on the court, I was willing to do that. But four years here, it's, um, it's amazing. I'm truly going to miss it. Great. Congratulations. Thank you. Tara Pisa's final four appearance is the most successful Georgia State individual has gone in an NCAA championship event.